Hello there people, this is Christian and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360 and the answer or my workflow from a little uh, challenge which was making this stand here and as we said earlier the property it has a volume of 94,500 cubic millimeters if you do this this is the version where it's lying flat and this is the version with standing up so let's do it first just to get it out of the, the ballpark the shape so we're going to do uh, this one standing up if people don't know how to do that so it's going to start the sketch bottom plane there are also different ways to do this this is the way i like to do it i'm going to use uh, user parameters uh, oh no now we're going to use uh, side let's call it side it was 85 millimeters like that and that's going to be side it doesn't understand what i meant so i'm going to double click and select that dimension side yes we're going to do an offset of this that's gonna be our width. That's gonna be 15. Okay, we're gonna do some lines for the corner post. Check we get perpendicular like that. And here and here. Let's open up our sketch and have a look. We have a fully constrained sketch we can finish. We're gonna do an extrude. Uh, there's some different ways to do the extrude. Let's do all the profiles first. So we get a nice uh, cube. That was S for side. I'm going to do a second ex extrude. I'm using my parameters right now so I can go back and change things. Uh, we're going to cut away first. It's going to be this one and this one. It's going to be from an offset plane. And that offset is going to be the width of the things. And then this is just going to be all. So we cut away this like that. And then we'll extrude from here these two here i'm oh, sorry uh, two here no angle good uh distance to object we're gonna select a point up here and that's too far so we're gonna add an offset that's gonna be minus the width like that and by doing that we have created a part in the east orientation yes we can do the joints and spin it around and stuff like that it's just check so we do everything correctly properties 94,500 and we made it this way so we have a parametric if we right click our sketch and do show dimensions we can now play around with things is this dimension where are you let's pull you out that way by driving so we can do it uh, 100 and we can do it 20 to see it works yes we can change things so that's the the easy way do things like this now we get into the complicated kind of hyper sketches for now so yes if you look from the top, this is a hexagon. You can use that as a possibility. It's a bit harder for my brain to solve that. What I look at, if I turn like this, you can see it's balancing on three points. And this point, this point, and this point. And three points, that's a triangle, and everything is uh, the same side length, so it must be just be an equilateral triangle. So this new new design, let's start with that. We're going to create a Create, we're going to use a polygon tool. Hit here, we're going to do tab, let's see three sides. I'm going to select everything, turn it over to construct geometry. I'm going to do this horizontally, depends which way you want to look at things. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sketch the profile. The profile, if you were looking at, let's see the top here, if you just were looking at the face I'm marking here, so I'm going to sketch this face now flat down. So let's do line, we're going to do from here to here to here this is going to be perpendicular of course and these two lines should be equal like that we're going to do alpha line again let's start up here we're going to go perpendicular I'm, by will i want the constraints as well looking at the corner up here when i get the little square show me i'm perpendicular and let's go down here somewhere and up here and they only need to add this purple oops sorry this perpendicular constraint here and we're going to do another equal either these two lines here or the two lines here will lock everything down let's do it like that and we're going to do adding some dimensions this here is going to be our side that's 85 we're using the same private names again and we're going to miss this here we'll make sure it gets good correct orientation uh, with uh, 15 one five like that by doing that we're done the sketch we need so far 
So what you've done now is the face like it would look, uh, but it's in the wrong orientation. We need to find, let's go back to this one. We need to find, let's leave on this side. We need to find how much this here should be tilted. And yeah, we can do that. Create sketch, front. We do a P for projection, project in this here, which is gonna be our axis for rotating this here. And this is the top of this edge here. And we're gonna do a circle. X for geom for cross geometry, so come here to here. So the line here, which I'm going to create now, this line here, has the same length as from this axis of rotation to the top point here. That's from the line that goes from here to here up to the top point up here. And now if we look at this, this is a cube uh, standing on three points, or cut off on three points, that means that the line here, if I look from this side, I now have created, so I can do the line here. This line here will go up to a point up here, meeting this line and this line, and that will be uh, one of the vertices of the cube. Uh, that needs to be above the center point. So let's do a line from here, horizontally up, and over to here. We need to add a constraint. This needs to be perpendicular, of course, because we work with the cube, and we need one more dimension. Uh, we can use other geometry to play around to get it over, but we have parameters, so just use the side parameter over here. Open up the sketches. We now have a fully defined sketch. From here there are, uh, what I normally would do, I would create a construction plane or plane at an angle along this line and redo the sketch here. But I already done the sketch and I have an axis, so let's use revolve. Revolve this profile around this axis, and it was to, yeah, it's already said that they do it full firstly, it was spins all the way around, so we change it over to two, and the two point is this one here, and by doing this, we are basically going to revolve the profile up to here, so we can use the profile. E for extrude, not that profile, this face, and what uh, dimension do you want to extrude it? It's the width dimension like that and it was a do join we no 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 we want a new body we don't want these two connected gonna open up our body folder and we have two bodies the first one created we don't need anymore left click right click and select remove and we have clean up slightly s and circle a pattern of bodies this body around the center axis which is this line here or you can select the axis down here but gonna do this three yes Mark everything, do a combine, and hit enter. And by doing that, I'm going to open up and show the mission again here. We have now made the stand in the correct orientation. So these three points are touching the bottom plane or the flat plane down here. And we can, of course, check uh, our properties. 94,500, good. And we can change things. 150. We have a big thing we want to put back. And we're going to be 50. So you can play on, yes, and it works. I'm so pleased. 15, oops, sorry, that's too much. Do not crash your parameter, of course. That would crash the 85. Right, so these are the two workflows I would use for creating it simply standing up, just get the geometry and doing it in the correct orientation. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care, stay around, and goodbye.